Hey guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting really towards the final episode of Reborn as a Bending Machine. It is weird to say that we are here. I am sad, but happy at the same time, though. But I'm like, I don't want this show to end. I wish we could go on 12 more weeks with this show, but yeah. We're not going to have no more maple and freaking Lelouchery pretending on my screen anymore. And that's fucking sad. Unless... But we'll talk about that at the end. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Yeah. Gasoline? Yeah, but it's gas. Yeah, it's gasoline. I think so, yeah. The bottles of gasoline. <laughs> I mean, that's a smart move, though. Fire! Yes! Burn it! <laughs> Damn. He, he was just trying to help. <laughs> Sir, are you supposed to be this version of the Eins? Because, you know, kind of makes sense, but, you know, not really. <laughs> And there you go. All right, now kick him.
Are we about to have my body? Wait! <laughs> Oh my Hey, I mean, it felt a little too easy because, you know, overpowered as fuck. But, hey, okay. Uh, my God. Is somebody okay? Well, you know what? That's something that I didn't think I was going to see today. But okay, we can put that down as something we saw. Like, yeah, mm. Thanks, anime. <laughs> of course, he ain't giving that coin up so fucking easily. Oh, okay, no, ma'am. Where are you going? Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't like this episode.
Oh, so the balloons are going to protect her. Okay. I take that as a win. Wake up! Wake up! Because uh, for a moment, I was like, what, what is that? And then, boom! Okay! <sighs> Let's never do that again. Oh, I mean, regardless, even if you weren't there, something bad still would have happened. Of course. Really shouldn't be surprised about that.
<laughs> yeah, very much deja vu. Honestly, I don't think he knows. Like, in a party with him? Oh, that's so fucking sweet! Hmm? Wait, hold, hold up, guys. Wait, wait. <laughs> they, uh, with their own money too? <laughs> no. Going on a Pokemon journey. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, the place where you two first met. Yeah. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> If this show don't get a fucking season two, I'm suing. Oh my God. Because, I mean, this was criminally underrated. Like, I, I don't really, I never, I did see some people talking about this on and off. But not, like, to, uh, probably, like, hype points and stuff. But then you also got to mind you. <laughs> There's a lot of things airing this season that, you know, just was like, hey, yo, overpowered. Here you go. And then stuff returning from mid fucking covid you know after situations that they had to stop and then they're back and they're like oh my god everybody look at me and then you know one of those shows technically died due to covid but you know we don't talk about that show i feel bad for her in that show because i even i wanted to continue that show but i think because we waited too freaking long since what was it like episode seven or eight for that series and then next thing you know postponed like bro but you know misfit that was a different story i had to continue that but this was super freaking good i mean once again you know <laughs> anime is anime when you take the two two sayus that you never would think would be in an anime together especially with their iconic roles that they're vastly known for and to just put them together i mean in my opinion that started with like senko and we're continuing that with so many other animes where it's like, damn, I never would have, like, fucking thought and such. And then next thing you know, they're in, like, something else. Because like, they could be in fucking Genshin. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if Maple say, say using Genshin. I, I know. <laughs> There's a lot of things I know that are in that and still can't believe it and such. But, I mean, yeah, I would really love to see this as a season two. Or, because we can go ahead and talk about this. Um, let's say, because of course, it is also by the same studio of several other animes that I have, like, I want to list right now, but I'm not going to. Well, it's the big one. Um, of course, Isekai Korta officially had a movie, like, I think a year or two ago, I think, uh, especially when COVID was really, really high and such, and featured, you know, everybody except, you know, um, not Rising of the Shield Hero, for Cautious Hero, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, even though Cautious Heroes cast was in season two for like a moment and then they were gone. So we know that the show was kind of potentially going to get a season three for it. They, this group could be officially in it because of course I can see them interacting with all the rest of those characters and seeing how in the world, especially because something tells me Lamis would be the one to press the damn button to, you know, be back in like a regular ass world high school and such. But then also at the same time, Boxo could literally teach her everything. <laughs> fucking high school. And it would be fucking hilarious. I mean, you, you just never know. You never know in a series like Isekai Korta, like, who all could be featured in that. So, fingers crossed that happens for this group. I mean, I still want it with Cautious Hero because, once again, Cautious Hero was, like, in and out. Bam. So, if it does get a season three, put my babies in there. Shit. I need them to, like, interact, especially with the fact that, like, yes, Rising of the Shield Hero season three is officially airing next month. 
And you know me, I did it with season two, especially after season one and two of Isekai Quartet. <laughs> Almost like every single week I was like, I wasn't complaining. I was always saying like, you know, man, this would be a little bit better if you know, like, <laughs> so, Tanya was here or fucking like, on <laughs> I, like somebody would be here just to help. You know, it would be done so fucking quickly, but you know, it's like, no, we can't do that. It's too fucking easy. But, I mean, yeah, even with the way, like, this last episode ends, it still feels like there is something else in the works with it. I don't know, like, specifically light novel what ap what episode. Wrong thing. What light novel we are on for this series. So, I mean, yeah, I would love to eventually, like, see these two seiyus coming back together and working together on this show because like god damn this was just so fucking good and especially with this cast this cast is freaking everything fucking everything like iconic freaking people and, and a damn series together once again you know get the, when that magic is there like oh sprinkle that fucking dust on that shit like because oh it's it's glorious and i love it so fucking much but I am genuinely going to miss this one because this was so fucking good. I would definitely rewatch this again with someone who's never seen this before and just being like, yeah. <laughs> Every single time when Hawk really transforms, just be like, pause. You're like, so yeah, how do you think he's going to use that? How is that going to work? <laughs> and just them figuring it out would be so fucking cute. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards the entirety of Reborn as a vending machine. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys <clears throat> later on in the week for the last couple of weeks of summer anime. And, of course, in the next up and coming weeks for the start of fall anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.